<laughs> Let's move on. Welcome everyone to the Square Enix's Presents Summer Showcase E3 2021 show. Like I mentioned, our Deji recap is one of the things that I'm looking forward to most. So here's hoping. Seriously, what's with this Persona 5 thing they got going on? I guess the aesthetic. New game announcements, updates. Don't get me wrong, Red's an amazing, amazing color. So I'm also particularly looking forward to this one because Square Enix has been really good with the World Premiere. What about Final Fantasy 16? That's all I'm looking forward to. Oh, that, that's true. There's also the game that uh, uses the Luminous Engine for that. Oh, the oh, Idols Montreal video game. Alright, let's see. For you. Let's see. Is it uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes, I think it is. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Yeah. Yeah, there's Star Lord. MCU is it, is Star Lord. It? Is it the game oh, wait, never mind. The no. What happened to the Infinity War? Okay, okay, okay. Kudos. At least they're Your keeping Star Wars more to his comic versions and no, not wanking off to the so MCU. The well, the characters do look more like their MCU counterpart. Uh, well, it looks like they're just trying to remember the comics so version, though. Like, there's been a serious problem of. Well, yeah, Drax definitely that's... looks more like his comic book version. Yeah. There's definitely been a problem of Marvel products trying to wank off to the MCU so much, so hopefully they'll settle down with that. Especially with the backlash of the event. So I wonder what kind of gameplay do we have to expect from the. Oh, there we go. Drax, oh, so this. This is from... an expansion to the Avengers game. <laughs> no, no the baby not. mentioned that it's a brand new game. But uh, they did. Um... Oh. No, please, I don't want to see Drax is drunk. Also, this is the second trailer in recent times that he's already using Anita Hero. <laughs> well, it makes sense. Well, the other one was like that He Man uh, trailer. Yes, sir. Yes. By the way, who else is looking forward to Mark Hamill in this? I'm mostly, uh, I, don't, I don't mind the English dub drama, but I'm mostly looking for the Italian one because there are a couple of people that I know voicing the characters. Wait, you only play as Tar? Uh, I get the idea that it's like a team game. I hope you so. got this. It, because it said you are Star Wars, right? <laughs> well, we have to see. When people say Square Enix games have no sense of humor and are focused. Hey, Mantis. Dog. Yeah, it's Astro. It was actually one of the members of the original team of Guardians of the Guardians. Marvel of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Well, okay. so are we gonna separate this from the new? Thank you. Well, it's simple. October 26. So, geez, already. Hi, my name's Olivier. Huh. I hope it's Senior not a disaster like the event. Olivier Poulos. I know, right? So the to work on our First time, this is not Marvel's another game Guardians service the game. And I don't even know how Avengers. they can make this a game to service. They could be Avengers would, would want to have a word with you. Avengers, you think, okay, they're adding new characters and everything, but the Guardians team has been mostly, you know, solid without that much additions. They'll find a way, it's Marvel. The concept of, the concept of gas works better with the Avengers because the Avengers keeps losing and adding new team members anyway. Well, believe it or not, Dwarves, you may not know this, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, kinda did that at some point in the comics as well. So, uh, what a, still what a different team, right? Oh, then Abbott is the writer, cool. Huh. He's a guy, he's a, you know, huge veteran of the Marvel comics. Uh, like many of writers uh, for the big two, he has he has his ups and downs, uh, but this is, he is mostly fine. It's, you know, it's gonna be funny if Guardians of the Galaxy turns out to be a better hyped Marvel game than, well, the Avengers. Okay, okay, okay. A better hyped Marvel game from Square Enix, because we were Marvel's new strategy is um, throw it out to everyone. They stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head it was a minute. I was like, oh my god, like, they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel and Idols Montreal share Common. Okay, and that's all that nice, but I do hope we do get to play as more than just Star Wars because, yeah, I don't know who mentioned it, but yeah, we only saw real footage of playing as Star Wars. 
What makes the gameplay it's literally said in the text that you are no Star Lord. What phase of the game you are, whether so, yeah. you are an exploration. Well, why would I want to be a guy who the fucks everything up and turns out the universe? Because he's That's not what happened in the movie, it leaves. Because Twitch is not a screw up in the comics, which is this more based on their own. Okay, he's still a screw up, but at least it's, you know, it has more stuff in that. They could go to sell one of the characters. Yeet! Yeet to the cool. So, uh. So what I gotta judge it, if you hate Groot, you sell him, or if you hate no Rocket, you can sell him. You are playing as Star Lord and you're using your blasters. Yep, you oh. are playing as Star Lord. Very oh, Star Lord right. is really empowering. He's very agile. Rather call this game Guardian. Actually, no, actually, actually, no. I mean, there's still there. Well. <laughs> well. I, mean, I mean, the team's still the there. It's just, uh, and it's helping, I guess. So, I guess it's a situation really similar to the vanilla version of Final Fantasy XV. No. It seems like kind of a very oh, the... about a <laughs> oh yeah, Peter, I have called I have called you to this planet for an important task. Oh my lord, but your more oh, do you valley crossover? But your but your but your more the whole planet exactly. Okay, this game looks interesting, but I can't deny us only playing a Star Lord. That's interesting villains in the game. Yeah, my question is what they choose, what they're gonna choose for the villains. Uh, oh, it's Ronan again. The best for this story. Uh, that see that guy that was. Dweebs, uh, okay, I urge you to try not to think just from the movies. Yeah, again, Dweebs. Well, okay. I mean, that's the thing, though. The movies are probably the well, most that's people that's Ronan. from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Is you know, like you know, just, I love how you're pretty much proving my point about how much, you know, well, the problem with MCU wanking. It's gotten to the point where people more so only remember Marvel for their MCU variants. And this judge it only off it's of that, when in reality it was the comics that came first, film. It's and you know, probably what should be paid more mind to. I don't think that's what Dwibs is talking about, I mean as far as MCU stuff goes, the Guardians, like, people don't know, they are, they are among the last, until the MCU, they were among the last people thought of, like the general audience. They did, uh, they were actually. Yeah, pretty much, my point though is like, well again, because of that, people are really only going to remember What else them. do people have to go off of, though? I mean, with the other Shiri, stuff, there's... After the release of the first movie, they did uh, game popularity also in the comics, and they had pretty interesting storylines. They also got the... Particularly Rocket Raccoon. They also got a TV show as well. Again, Is now... The title screen? <laughs> now, mind yeah. you, Shirei, <laughs> Now, mind you, Shirei, I'm not saying it's the fans' fault, but that it's more so the fault of Marvel and companies in general for not... You know, shining okay, that I'll agree with. on the original stuff. Now, okay, I was never blaming the fans for that. Like I said, MCU wanking, that's more so that's more so the company's fault here and there. It's like I said, it was the same issue with the Avengers project, how that was also, really going for that's, more uh, MCU vibe. Also, that's cute attention to detail, Star-Lord as a badger with an um, alien from Space Invaders, because creating some title, that's cute. <laughs> Also, Rocket doesn't look like ass. I will say this though, it's weird that of all the things to have only one playable character, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. I get the idea, I get, I get the idea we want to do this kind of telltale thing where you're the leader, you have to decide what to do with your team, both in gameplay and, you know, when you're making key, key decisions. So I guess that gives us the good question. How much will this actually affect the game and will your choices actually matter? Because, you know, Telltale are kind of infamous for that kind of stuff. Drax will remember this, probably. <laughs> I just thought, I, I just thought this can just be a basic straightforward game with a beginning middle and end and that's it as opposed to maybe like maybe like as with, opposed maybe to like Avengers, with the... which ah, is a game yeah. service that is continuing <laughs> like just make a just make a game that that begins and ends and that's it and if you want maybe, to make a sequel, have ultimate alliance maybe <laughs> maybe like some dlc episodes with one of each of the individual characters it's such a weird thing to do but okay maybe if the game's good enough to make up for it it well, could work, it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling when you bother to make a clear team bit here, and it's not like there's that many you would have to make different gameplay styles for, it just feels like such a weird omission to do. It's like having a Justice League game where you only play as three of the seven members. Alright, let's see. 
if we can get well, some actual fair. on the field gameplay. Yeah. Well, um, well, Joker, this one sorting out one of your um, issues with, with most of E3 this year so far. They're gameplay for the gameplay. It's such a novel concept, isn't it, Dwibs? Actually showing gameplay to back up the game. Well, I mean, in this case, the game comes out in, um... Oh, God, not in this, sir. Later this year. What it's another... Oh, I seriously hope it's just for the presentation only, because it seems to be another situation where the game is going your actual movement down on purpose. Well, you know, you gotta be cinematic and all that I, stuff. I think you can still replicate that without, you know, impeding... Uh, my decision to There's just run. There's a lot run. of ways to be cinematic without doing this. See? Now it's more like it. Why not let the player decide if they want to go fast or slow? I get the idea that some occasion it's done for loading purposes. Maybe, but... Yeah, a lot of times uh, it can be done for the... Also, everything those. is painted yellow. Now how can we know what to climb on? So, going off of this, the writing does sound pretty good so far. To be fair, Jova, it's a common recurring thing to have actual comic book writer, writers for comic book uh, tied video games. Yes. So there, there is at least that kind of consolation, at the very least. Oh, Dude. shit. Did the Avengers Project so, have a comic book writer on board? I think so. Oh, shit. I, I really don't recall so, there being any mention of a comic book writer for that. I'm gonna check in the meantime. Why not? Ben, 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 Ab ben Abnett, uh, Jova. Um, no, no, it's for this one. Jova was talking about specifically Marvel's Avengers. Oh, that. Um, I'm checking, don't worry. So is this a single player game? Seems to be. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A, a, a blob of jelly, a blob of cute jelly with a star in it. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad about that. This is not another Kings of the Service game. Then, if, if, that, if that is the case. To be fair, when they start, when they announced the, the Avengers game, they also didn't talk about multiplayer. Hmm. Well, they did mention that uh, they did talk about. Uh, I can't imagine there uh, might be uh, co-op. We'll see. I guess. Oh God. Um... Okay, maybe it's tied to some DLC releases, but Marvel's Avengers are like one, two, three, five writers and I don't recognize any of those. So none of them were comic book writers? They might be, but they're just people I don't know. Alright, show me the names. Alright, Sean S. Kaig, John Stafford, Nicole Martinez, Marek Walton, and Anna McLeod. I can tell who Sean S. Kaig is. What? Uh, Sean S. Kaig was uh, the director of Uncharted Lost Legacy and he left uh, not to go join Eidos, Mon Eidos and he was the director of, um, of the Avengers game. Do any of those writers have a Wikipedia page, do you? Um, no, but I might find them on MDB. Besides, it's besides the point, maybe I'll bring it up when we see the Wakanda footage later on. As a comic book fan, none of those names are ringing any bells for me, so not much reason to believe that they are writers, and comic book writers anyway. Yes. But yeah, I mean, uh, but yeah, I'll give it credit, the writing is curious that you let Oh my god, we're really having the, the telltale thing. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait to see how much that actually affects the game, or if it's just there to make you feel like Okay, if I had to guess, we might be trying to do something like, say, Mass Effect 2, where for the final confrontation, the morality of your teammate is important. So if there's not enough, so might actually have repercussions. Hmm. But again, speculations only. That's it. The writing is already seeming miles ahead of the Avengers project, so kudos. It's clearly, to it's, it's clearly like the Sakura Wars. You get to, <laughs> you get to spend time with your, with the other one. It does or help. Or is it like kind of. as well? It does help <laughs> that for same thing, right? Yeah. It does help that for once it's not another MCU pandering fest, also. So. Kudos there. Again, the MCU is by no means a bad thing, but it's clear that trying to suck up to it has not really worked out for products outside of movies, really. It's also a thing that we were mentioning a couple of times, the idea that some Marvel properties did not get tie-in video games, MCU or not, to coincide with a rising popularity when they had potential, like say Black Panther, Doctor Strange, and this might be a good example. Oh, the team up time. Oh, oh, great. So there's going to be a lot of licensed music, which will be very fun for anyone who wants to stream or record this. 
Twitch is gonna have a field day with this one. I might have a streamer say. No. Similar to Quantum Break, probably. Honestly though, it works. I mean, it's, it's core the, part of like, it's core part of the team like, by having you know Star Wars being so obsessed with 80s culture. Also, I noticed that so far they've used songs from Shrek so far. Well, Joba, <laughs> it is the the 20th anniversary of the first movie. Sure, why not? Yeah. Peter? Oh my God, Shrek commentary when? Someday you want to pick? Uh, you you will have to pick that up, lady, because I'm trying to keep the record going on. Oh come on, dear! Just yeah, be... let's go for the memes. Just because it's a source of memes doesn't mean. Rocket to get in the box. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so enthusiastic about yeah. it. Uh. Go back at the box we found you from. Show off salesmanship, or change your mind. Maybe Gamora's right. <laughs> so basically, you could just basically troll the rocket all the way through just to sell crew. I get the idea, well, this might have consequences, nonetheless. Again, I guess it's all about the shifting in the in what the relationship that your characters have with you. Like he said, in this case, Rocket will remember this and will be, you know, will actually his morality will rise up as a result. Can you help me with no. this? What? Why? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You push okay, it. I mean, I do appreciate at least that you know, they're not trying to just have basically Star Lord just be Chris Pratt. I don't recognize most of his voice well, actors, though. I wonder if uh, Rocky Raccoon is still voiced by Nolan North because he was voiced by him in um, Ultimate Alliance 3 and a couple of other minor Marvel products. So I still think the best voice actor Rocket got was Greg. Okay, at least for Ultimate Marvel 3, but I sadly agree. it was kind of never recasted for that. So, I'll admit, I always did like his design best from Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. That was more the comic book accurate version, complete with the uniform. Yeah. That was Guardian of the Galaxy Bar. Okay, you know what? Good opener. Eh? Recap trailer, Jova. It's common for these kind of things. Oh, it's not such a recap. We've we seen this bit before. No, um, we have some, not. some of it, okay. some, some minor things of it. Yes. Sir? Okay. Yeah, the game looks good. I just, I, 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 again, if the game is just a basic, straightforward single player game, I'm fine with it. As long as it doesn't follow the game. <laughs> the game <is> more... <laughs> Rocket to break. Sorry. Well, if anything, uh, the, you know, the, the thing that answers to both of these. Uh, you know, different sizes, but we'll just wait. have to wait and see how it turns out. Uh, regardless, what what is really interesting to me and is the re relatively stoner release date. Hold on. Yeah, that's the shot we actually seen it before. But now we actually get to hear it. The audacity that you I guess this is a female version of Ronan. Maybe it's a completely new villain. Or Ronan she still looks like a Kree. So what, you think Ronan got a sex change? Yeah. Or the Don't accuser title was given to someone else. Remember, his role is more of a title rather than being his identity. You got no, this. I, I don't have it yet. The game's not out. Oh, what's this for? Right. It's not coming oh, also, to Google Stadia. Co different what costumes. a shame. I feel bad for all the Stadia fans. <laughs> all five of them. I mean, all those still stages. five more than zero. Remember, right. next. Modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then, Ooh, this, no this, this was something I, I think know. was kind of leaked. This is something that got leaked, yeah. Yeah, recently, recently, the um, Google versions of 3 and 4, three and four got PS4. actually renamed. So I wonder. Oh, please tell me there's a, there's a PSC portal. Hmm. Well, it says Pixel Remaster. To be fair, those have not received like a console oh, release before. Okay. Yeah, these ones have not been been released on PS4, oh my God, uh, so does Switch, and Xbox One. We'll finally have looks for five and six that aren't criticized for being ugly. Or one? an actual 2D version coming soon for Steam. Steam yes, in the movie. Wow, so even I can play these. <laughs> yeah, but it seems to be very just like the the the, uh, the uh, versions. So, what the uh, Legend of Mana. This is a new intro, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Steve, honestly, guys, I thought you'd have. Honestly, guys, I thought you guys would have saw so, Steve in the bird bar and be like hard pass or something. So, Legend. Wait, I literally game on Steam. What the hell gives you that idea? 
Anyway, yes, Jova. Um, so now Legend of Mana has 2D cutscenes attached to it. It seems to be just a new week. opening. Yep. I'll still get it. I'll get it. I'm not sure exactly when. Actually, so. no, no, no. Two, two, two weeks from... Yeah, oh, Marvel's Avengers. Yeah, like a of weeks. yeah hey, it's... Uh, well, I mean, it was comics, so... Yeah, yeah, like I said, we need to wait for the... We need to see what the Wakanda expansion looks like. So, I'm just gonna say this. How much of this is just obligation because they already set this in? Or how they did much is say them trying to, vent, to actually uh, save this game? Because they that... did say that at least on contract they're gonna try it for a year straight. I'm just saying this though, that Hawkeye one is not really doing it any favors. What a shock. Maybe. Maybe the Black Panther one might be able to you, save it. I will say, I do wonder why the, the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster thing is not available on console stuff. I guess Maybe again we're just pri Switch. I guess we're prioritizing uh, for the PC and maybe we'll get the console versions later on. They did the same thing for stuff like uh, um, 9 or 8 remastered. I guess. But still, like I said, it was kind of leaked because the mobile versions of 3 and 4, um, which were based on the Nintendo DS version, were rebranded, renamed as 3D version. So I get the idea, yes, those might be the actual um, 2D versions, including Final Fantasy 3, which was never released in the West in 2D format. Do you prefer it in 2D format? No. The, the no. 3D version is probably the best one, but it still doesn't fix all of the problems. That being said, though, what did you mean by 2D regarding 5 and 6, though? Well, okay. Yeah, no, I was, I was thinking specifically for 3 and 4, Jova. Oh, okay. um, Five and six, I don't know what what versions will be. If they're still like based on the mobile versions or not, or like a revamped version. No, I they said pixel remaster. They're most likely that they're going to use the Super Nintendo original. Yeah, but that's kind of a problem because the GBA versions do add new content, so okay. I'll rather stick with that. Now, question: Will this will this edition finally add on mooks that aren't just boring aim robots for once? Hmm. Well, let's see. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but. As a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. <laughs> also, this music. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yep. Back to the MCU Oh, that's Claw. Wait, since when Claw has teleportation powers? Don't tell me he has uh, one of Unless the it's not Claw. Okay, it might be, but he doesn't seem to have his actual Claw. Uh, unless it's an origin for the character in this version. Is there ever a storyline in the comics where Claw at least worked with someone whose gift was stealing powers? Yes, actually! Uh, we work for Doctor Doom, uh, which is famous for doing that. Uh, well, there you go, then. <laughs> no, but... Uh, oh, there's the, the actual Claw. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, but I just say that Claw has gone through a lot of redesigns uh, in the comics over the years. Uh, oh, Giant Claw. Wow, it's oh, right. Davis. Yeah, that particular oh, design is based on one of his incarnations. It was a weird phase. It's a so yeah, Black Panther War for Wakanda expansion. Including yeah, at no it. additional cost. <laughs> What's with the asterisk? It's time to give mobile players a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming so what's for, uh, what's for Mobile that? stuff, but probably updates. So. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is under uh, yes. oh, the, the fact the 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 Square don't owe the IP Following anymore, Asia they're still making mobile hit backings. You were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. Is this part of some deal with Hydra? Probably. Where, um, Wait, that doesn't look like it, man. Sniper oh, in the shadows. Sniper. So what, you play as different characters from Hitman and whatever. Probably. Oh, a near a re, near a re reincarnation. I actually, I actually played the beta. He's pretty good, actually. Well, the beta was available in Italy. Um, all over the, all over Europe, uh, America, Wait, and uh, I pre-registered for it. I think. In some, in, in some actual. Returns to oh yeah, they've already showed this in the Dragon Quest. Yeah, I think this is um, War of the Crystals. Uh, 
Yeah, World of Vision Final Fantasy Brave X user. It's basically an actual it's tactics game which has a lot of collaborations. That's okay. Oh, I, thought, I thought it was going to be like Final Fantasy I the after years or something. No, no, no. It definitely had a collaboration with that too. Next! The kindness of that. This is inside the, the vanilla Brave X user. Yeah, which has actually a two. very kick it actually has a very, has a very good soundtrack actually it's a, basically that's how it works with the vanilla brave exus is a more turn based traditional rpg world of the vision is instead tactical all right next oh the first soldier i yeah, actually I haven't know. tried the beta of this one but uh, from people that told me it's, uh, it's also in... pretty good final fantasy the VII, battle in royale y'all I mean, it's a war, so, uh, yeah. More training of that, too. All right, worldwide. Okay. Next! Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive Ooh, Babylon's look Fall. at the Fine. world of Babylon's Yes, that is a thing. Featuring fluid combat, powerful weapons, and a I'm unique... I'm saying, there's one thing I do like about how Square presents the, um... Presents these, uh, streams, is that it they have the unique icons, graphics though? in between. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're nice. There's a foreshadowing. Built over a thousand years. It was also, that's Darren the Paul as narrator. Darren the Paul, I swear he was in a crash game or something. Seen as a tower of so... I don't remember that. Yes, Druva? You know, I do wonder. I'd say overall, so far, we've seen an overall improvement in E3. Part of me wonders how much that may be because the pandemic is forcing them to do this, you know, more digital than with the unstaged shows. Don't get me wrong! Don't get me wrong. There are some things that stage shows have that are irreplaceable, but part of me It might be just a fortuitous coincidence. All right, um, now never mind. I got, I got the franchises mixed up. Darren DePaul was in Spyro. Oh, yeah. Let's find out without further ado! What is this a reality show? Find the original show? series or the remakes? What is this soundtrack? Also, it was a sheer aspect quest, yeah. Sorry, what was that, Siri? Original trilogy or. Remakes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Darren the Pool is, more, is a more of a recent kind of voice actor for game, game. I mean, I think he was also in. Um, yeah, yeah he, was in, um, he was in a couple of Persona games as well. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, it's one, one of the more minor characters. His there. breakout role has mostly been Reinhardt in Overwatch. So, from what I understand, that one side looks to be your typical team based game. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, it's kind of a first for this kind of style for Platinum. So, what exactly We're is the premise though? Just a bunch well, of if the name is anything to go by, it's based on the Tower of Babylon. Which, so I guess, I guess probably a dungeon crawler, but you're going up instead of down. And you like to Only Babylon, I know, is a song from David Gray. You didn't, you didn't even watch Babylon's Five, No. What about Babylon? What about Babylon Road? Did you play No. <laughs> you know, speaking of Crash, though, one of those voice actors sounded a lot like Jess Harnell. But two paths lie ahead. A sin to the heaven above the tower. Oh, Sorry, oh, could you speak up a bit? Like <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. I can't understand what he's saying. No, it's, it's done on purpose. All right, do we have a release date? This is the stream that needs subtitles. Yes. It came out PS4 yesterday. and Steam. Also PS5 version, yesterday. obviously. Develop oh, developer interview we mentioned here. Oh. Yes, 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 you did. You're you I need to you need to save your career, also, Platinum. We know that. Seriously, like they were... Saito, there he is. Seriously, Hero Tomato really pulled them out of the fire. Hopefully, Platinum will learn from that eventually. It also pulled Nier out of the fire, to be fair. It, we, in that case, it they was more. They did it together. It was more of a um, second chance, uh, given because it was mostly thanks to the producer um, from Dragon Quest uh, that had faith uh, in Taro's work. Speaking of Steel, how's the Nier remake been selling? Um, I haven't actually tracked down, but it seems. At, at the very least, the reception has been positive. I don't know the actual sales. Um, yeah, I've yeah, seen, yeah, I've only heard, like, positive things about it. So yeah. hopefully Platinum have learned their lesson and don't try to take everything under the sun. 
ground those that I should have. Because I think that's part of what got them into trouble and that they were literally working on everything. Well, remember, Joe, that they also had the three separate contract with Activision, and Activision is notorious for fucking up with things. So, I mean, this like, game... we made the just one of those, I guess it would turn out to be better, but... Uh, this game looks fine, but I'm not really getting what is really the big premise to suck me in. It, uh, I don't want to say it looks generic, but I feel like I've seen this. The, the, the aesthetic seems to be very, very much inspired by the Dark Souls titles, I have to say. It's fine, I guess. Just not really. Gripping. Also, what kind of hoodie are you wearing, Saito? I'm sort of scotch and soda. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why not? It's a bit weird, that's all. Next. Oh, no, no release date yet, unless it's mentioned in the article. We're getting straight to the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series. Alright, yeah, Life is Strange games. Uh, so maybe we'll actually see the, um, how it looks, the remastered versions. Here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered collection. Yes, there we go. Oh, well, hot, I was talking so with you. Back. What am I thinking? I'm I'm not right. All right, oh, Pedro, can you, can you tell us if you find any particular differences? Let me see. I, uh, what do you remember about us as kids? Mm, uh, what do you think about us as little pirates? Oh, it, it, it runs smoother. Like how the piece is a bit better. Not, not really. The models seem kind of the same. I think what I is know. This? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. Well, oh, life is strange. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. They didn't really seem to change. They just changed the more like the lighting than anything. I well, mean, yeah. okay, well, yeah, there's technically more detail on the faces, and there's definitely no, more. It's not, it's, it's, it's definitely not the overhaul we were told to expect. I would. That's good. I would say the, that the original art style is fine. <laughs> I would say that it does its job as a remaster, upping the fidelity here and there, and you know, adding the detail. So I mean, I don't know, Mark. The the presentation in in the, in the first Life of Strange game was like a lot of times the official animations really look really stiff and it really. Uh, made hard to interest some of the scenes. Let's not forget, so, Pedro. Not bad writing, of course. Let's not forget. Actually, let's not forget. Maybe, I think it has been... Let us not forget. They promised a remaster, not a remake. So they mainly cleaned up the details and raised the fidelity so that they look clear. But I wasn't going to expect them to outright change stuff to make it look more expressive here and there either. Because you know, there's only so much you can do with a remaster. Hey, Chloe, you still the, suck. The real, the real question is, will it actually run in 60 FPS? I actually, I actually like the first game. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just said that Chloe sucks, not the game as a September whole. September 30. Well, I mean, that's the thing, Jova. Isn't most of this game about Hon her? Hon honestly, Jova, yeah, honestly, Jova, Chapter 4, the first I'm a game, ruins everything the for me. Voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope yes, you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the real game. You don't have, you game. You don't have the actual song called True Colors as the theme. The and, and yet, Pedro, and yet, Pedro, from what you've told me, Life is Strange Before the Storm is even worse. This collection features it is. Before the storm, but before the storm is just... Lip -sync and I don't even know what the fuck they thought they were trying to accomplish with that game, to be honest with you. Well, Back again, March, the main consensus the I've heard is make a character who's actually worse than Chloe colors. to explain how why Chloe is as terrible as she is. Alex Chen must uncover the truth it. behind her brother's death, it using doesn't. her psychic power of empathy to unravel the anyway, shocking yeah, we're not, we're, anyway, we're, yeah, we're not... Anyway, we're not... Okay, so we're bringing back, back, so we're bringing back to the supernatural element of the first game. Well, they did show it in the... the as well. Yeah, they did show it in the first uh, presentation of the game. Yeah, we knew about Alex's this. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral yeah, to... Like well, the thing that she can see the actual emotional spectrum, like she's a fucking Green Lantern member. Didn't Life is Strange too often? Also have a Never supernatural have element a to it anyway. It has, yes. For years, it was Alex stupid, but it had. Okay, the so what exactly was the supernatural the angle of Life is Strange? The kid can, has, tel uh, has telekinesis. Oh. To believe oh, so it's a Stephen a King story, basically. In the wake of Gabe's death, <laughs> Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. Of I can't course. believe this is happening. I'm going to use my power to help people. Because from great power come great well, I mean, uh, 
Wait, what else is supposed to use the power for? Well, I don't know, power maybe to respect people's Making privacy? To gain an insight into people's emotions. Actually, does this count as invading people's Just privacy if you're looking into their emotions? These valuable insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events. Uh -oh, as here, been from a scene very dangerous. early on in the game. <laughs> you're gonna lose pink, her. It's pink. You're gonna lose her Purple is a shade of pink. Your fault. No. Purple is obtained between red and blue. Pink is obtained by red and white. Actually, you can get purple if you mix in white with it, so technically... Okay, pink does show up on the spectrums of some colors of purple. She's the best thing that's happened to me. Oh, no. So please, help me out. Well, help me mend my relationship. Max telling you I see, quite. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. So are we... Still together. Are you serious? Yeah, again, much like the the previous games, you have sure. the choice here. So. We'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with that person's emotions. This generates a nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that so person's psyche. So when does this all come to bite us in the in ass? As it turns out it's destroying the sound so because he's using the it's technically that that what if, memories so what if someone to the root of their issue. Yeah, technically, yeah, there was no no rep repercussions to using the telekinesis power in the second game. So he's dead. yeah. Yes, but that was the second game. Maybe it'll be different in this game. No decision is easy. That's the thing, Marco. Um, unlike Love is Strange 2, this one was made by Deck 9 Games, the guys who made before the storm. What if so. I could just take uh, away. I don't know if that's better or worse, to be honest. I don't know if that's better or worse. I'm guessing you didn't like Before the Storm, Marco? What would that Before the Storm was meh. What would it do to me? Wow, but well, my page was told me it was god awful, can? but according to you, it was just well, meh. Well, Marco, Marco's more of a fan of the How first game, and uh, so of course he will be a bit more tolerant uh, than yeah, me. Yeah, totally that. Totally you have to remember also that these games do have a lot of cold following, particularly in Japan and South Korea. Look so awesome. And I don't really I get no why it does. It's just, you know, the story personally was not for me. And don't get me wrong, I will be there to help cover for the commentary, but as a game. Yeah, the first. First life is strange. Issue, really the my issue with the first game is just that the dialogue was just so cringy and unnatural. And Again, it's all part it's of the, the for me, it's kind of part of the charm. <laughs> really part of the charm of the game. It really, I'd say it depends on you liking Chloe. I did not. Does it? Because I, no, I didn't Marco, like Chloe that much. Marco, I'm going to remind you what's the final choice of the game. Exactly, it's not a choice. For me, it wasn't a choice. <laughs> it wasn't a choice. I'm guessing you chose the good ending, Marco. Now, the one where Chloe dies. Oh, hold yeah. on, what is this? Square Enix Japan. A new title. Something from new Square Enix Japan. With the memory, the memory of the struggle very deep in their heart. So. Hmm. It's Kingdom Hearts, not sure. <laughs> no, there was a sword. Another <laughs> rhythm game. Nojima, Ino, Fujiwara, Tetsuya Nomura. Oh, good. Okay, what is this? Is this a new Oh, is this the origin game they were talking about? Yes, Team Ninja. Oh, it's a Team Ninja game. Okay. I thought Team Ninja were. Or they all were doing here. This was um, this was actually talked about. More similar to Neo, apparently. It yeah, it's, 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 it's made by the same people that make Neo. Yeah, yeah. And, he's yep, kind of, yep. and he seems to be just our imagining of the first game. Also, yeah, this is, these are definitely the more designs. Because yeah. that's what the first game needs. It's gore. I mean, why yeah. not? Uh, but, uh, well, this is just more like a, an apparel alternate version. It's not like a strange to replace the original or anything. So what, is that? what we need is Mickey Mouse to show up and start stabbing yeah. people. Oh. Final Fantasy <laughs> Hack Zero. Uh -huh. Now watch as I help save the day, folks! Uh -huh. we just have to hunt him down. Exactly. So, what exactly is this a remake of? It's okay, uh, it might be tied to the first game, or boy, or boy it might just borrow some elements and still tell its own original thing. What's because the, the characters guys? seem to be, you know, just having different types of uh, weapons yeah. and jobs they can do. So what's the franchise well, in question, yeah, you can, you can basically sum up the characters of the first game as... Oh, there's Garland. Again, answer the question. Oh, it is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
So it is um, a reimagining of the first game. <laughs> a Final Fantasy. Well, Gamblin is the Gamblin is saying he's straight up like the yeah, yeah, Yoshitaka yeah. Mao art. So this is based off a of Final Fantasy No. Seems to be. Seems to be yes. Garland oh, is Garland is still voiced by Chris Tabat. We're here awesome. to kill chaos. The prophecy's very own warriors of light. Oh, it is. <laughs> of all the fact yeah, that you are only three warriors of light and not four. Yeah, what happened to the four? It's you, Dweebs, don't you know? He just died off screen. Oh, of course. So this is literally a Final Fantasy One remake. What? The Maybe they're gonna rewrite the story where it's the prophecy only says three warriors of light too. Strangers, Strangers of Paris. What kind of title is that? What the it's hell? It's a Square Enix title. Of course. This a whole new version for Paris. Probably next year. Available soon. Available soon on PS5. Awesome. I actually think it looks pretty cool, so, yeah. Cool. So, we just got a Final Fantasy 1 remake well dropped on us. I don't know how to feel about this. More like a, re more like a, a game that's inspired by it. Oh, yeah, Intergrade. I actually finished Intermission today. Really yeah, good. I'm not saying anything particular, but I can say easily one thing that I've been saying from the first, uh, from, from the first that i seen it, I absolutely called it. <laughs> I haven't, um, haven't started recording. Near Replicant, been... there it is. Uh, I've, yeah, I've been busy with. Oh, Grinders. Late summer. Um, Neo, more than with you. Yay, Neo. Awesome. Wait, wait, Life wait, is wait, strange, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. We're getting the recap already? Well, yeah, Joe, it's almost 40 minutes after. More yeah, to well, come. We're, we're, yeah, well, we're basically. For Spoken, there it is. We're 45 minutes into it. Oh, no, 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 oh, the, 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 That's the only 16 representation we're going to I mean, I mean, okay. I mean. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, I mean, it's not so much the length I'm worried about, it's just like, well, that was a weird thing to end things off on, unless they're building this up to, like, a one more thing kind of announcement. Maybe that was the one Thank more thing, Jova. Keep an eye out for news about our next oh, Square Enix It feels presents. surprisingly a block. I'm Mercer, see you next time. Thank you. Yeah, that was Matt Mercer, still as narrator. Thank you, Matt. Very abrupt, right. but okay. Alright, uh, final was, thoughts, I guess. Uh. Well, it was, it was um, fine. It was very short and succinct. Yeah, it was fine. I'll admit, though, not. Um, it wasn't as good as previous Square Enix E Freeze, or um, what was the one that was very good? Was the 2019 one? one. Yeah. 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 It definitely is, was not as good as the E Freeze 2019 one. I feel like, well, okay, it's good that it was moving quickly. But I do feel like the ending was a bit too abrupt, and while that Final Fantasy 1, let's call it reimagining, was nice, it didn't really feel like we saw enough to make it like, you know, oh, this is the finale. Or maybe it's just the way it was presented that it felt more like a hit-and-run sort of thing, and it's like, oh, that's the end? That kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, okay, so I guess I'll get into my final thoughts first. Go ahead. The announcements were definitely there. The Gardens of the Galaxy game does look promising. Let's pray they don't botch it up like they did Avengers. The mobile stuff is fine. The Black Panther stuff. Unfortunately, there's a bit more MCU pandering, but maybe. Maybe they might garner something. I'm not holding my breath. I'm gonna be honest, everything with Avengers has more or less been a screw-up, so, uh, yeah. Good luck with that, Square. Good luck. The Life is Strange stuff seems fine. Uh, the, uh, Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. Those could work out well. As for Legend of Mana, it's interesting the stuff they're adding on, like, I do. I could very well end up seeing a full playthrough redo for a squirm replays in our future for them. Okay, a, a def an extra definitely, Jova. But I don't. But again, we are not changing that much in terms of story or anything, Jova. Like I so. said, the fact that I'll actually be able to make heads or tails of what I'm looking at throughout that entire game is certainly a change. Ugh, whatever. Moving on. Go regardless, on. regardless. Legend of Mana stuff. That's fine. Um, I will say this, I'm very interested in the Final Fantasy 1 reimagining stuff, though I guess I do wonder why are they changing it so much to the point where it's only three warriors of light. And like, I I'm mean... Guessing the fourth one I'm... got lost on the way to Albuquerque. Again, it's like leaves. I guess I wanted to focus the gameplay on uh, like a streamlined approach to make it easier on them, maybe, I don't know. 
Like, okay, I doubt it's going to be the new canon version whenever they reference no. Final Fantasy 1. So, no, I mean, no. it's neat and all, but I wonder, maybe you would have been better off just making a Final Fantasy 1 remake. Like, you know, obviously with new stuff here and there, but more a remake than a reimagining. Kind of was a I bit get of... The Oh, the on. way they showed it here, Jova, it feels more like it's inspired by it rather than being like anything. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's using the Final Fantasy One moniker or anything. It's just, it's it's using the Final Fantasy One, the original Final Fantasy game, as an inspiration. Yeah. And and so, Momo and, and Momo and Nojima are basically putting their own spin on the whole thing. And so, some things seem to be having the same aesthetic or design of the originals. Others seem to take their own direction. And we will see how the, this will mix together. It's basically going to be um, an old, like, uh, here's, a, here's a Final Fantasy 1. It was made by Nomura and his staff, basically. To be honest. Or, 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 in, or in this case, uh, Nomura uh, and his, uh, Nomura is the creative lead and Team Ninja. Okay, the new team making it, but like an, an alternate version that, like for those who for those who perf who those who want a, a a bold different version of it, like if you don't, but the final the original version is still gonna be the canon one, like you said. So it's not like it's not like there's or... like yeah. that much story to it, anyways. Bit it's like pretty basic. Anyway, right? it's quite like an Elseworld story. Anyway, potentially, yes, sure. brother. Bit disappointing that we didn't get to see anything of Final Fantasy 16 or anything more of the Seven remake. So. Shame there. I guess we really don't have anything much to, have much to show at the moment. Babylon's 5? That looks... Ball. It looks fine, but I'm not really excited for that game. Like, it feels a lot more of stuff I've seen already, and, well, it's just there for me, honestly. The C3 was not bad, but I feel like it didn't answer a lot of questions people had on certain things. Like... There was definitely new info, not as much as there could have been. If I were to grade this, I would have to give this one either a C plus or a B minus. Probably more so the B minus, because no, 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 no. You know, actually, no, no, C plus. Like, it's fine. It just didn't feel like that substantial a show. Like, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that one Square Enix E3 that left us baffled with how... It was like it was. 50, Mia, 50 minutes and he had like the quiet man in it. <laughs> oh god, that one was terrible. This was not terrible, but this one felt like... Well, it, it felt like they were stretching. Again, unlike Ubisoft's, more of their stuff shown I did actually care for... But again, it felt just barely hitting the mark, so... Yeah, I'm gonna give this one... A C plus. I would have given it a B minus if I had more faith in the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, but again... Avengers at first looked exciting, and then we all know how that turned out, so I'm going to be cautiously optimistic with that one. Overall, it's a fine show, but sadly was not as exciting as I hoped. Which is kind of a shame. I thought this one would definitely be better than the Microsoft one, but... No. Alright, who's next? Leaves him. Uh, so yeah, um, the, uh, the actual presentation itself I think was good. It was very... The, the bits that needed to be short and succinct were short and succinct, and the ones that needed to go on a bit did go on a bit. You know, like stuff involving uh, the new Marvel game, and some more, you know, some info about that new Final Fantasy Act Zero uh, thing. Um, don't, don't, don't worry, I'm not going to... I, I, I jest with that bit, of course. It's not going to be... It's not going to be as bad as Act Zero. <laughs> but, but it is but it is still very interesting how you take the first game of the series and you know which was something it was, it was pretty much like okay because i think it was the origin of the series is pretty much you know the most simplistic thing you can think of outside of mystic quest um and and turn it into a gore fest like what's gonna happen next are we gonna have traps like in saw and uh, as for the other stuff, um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how those new um, pixel remasters of um, of the first six games work out. I might get those for, uh, for for mobiles. And those games, I think, 
um, are more suited to um, to uh, to mobile. You know, I can very... tell you this already. Dreams of Square Enix has a track record of making uh, things that are actually you know not free to play, but instead you actually pay and you get them on mobile a bit pricey with not much sales. Yeah, I know. So you I, know. Have out. Seen, um, I have seen the um, I have seen the prices around here. Around it, sometimes they're lucky enough to be on sale. Other times they're like. 16 quid for like some quite, some so. things like the original games we did like final fantasy dimensions are a bit more justified because that's the only version you can Indian get games. but but ports of stuff like again three and four 3d nah you might as well just get them on consoles or like on pc on that one but uh, to give also <laughs> to tell you also to what you just said vibs i'm watching again the trailer it seems that uh, there is gonna be at least uh, either a shader of some kind sorry in, in terms of a choice option or at the very least, one, two, and four seems to be based in terms of aesthetic on the PSP versions. So we might still get that additional content, not just straight up versions of the original NES and Super Nintendo. But we'll see in due time. Go on. Yeah, well, I'll have to wait and see on that front. Um, and, and overall, this was a pretty uh, good show, I think, you know, in terms of how they presents it, the they present it, and the ratio of um, elaborating on games they've already announced towards newer things like i i, I didn't surprise i didn't expect the uh final fantasy origins uh trailer to be that um that elaborate especially considering the game's not out till next year well they did say that we're getting a demo so there, there well, is yeah. probably something playable at well, the very least well, i'm guessing i'm guessing the team started working on this shortly after they finished neo 2 so mm. this game probably has been in development for like a, a, a man you the last time, piece of point. dlc for neo 2 didn't came out too long ago it was still relatively recent but we still might have you know started at least working on it and the neo and the team that did the, the, that has done the neo games are famous for working relatively fast when it comes to developing stuff the koi tecmo is managing to have a couple of teams that work really fast if they want to so i'm confident we'll see these games soon enough so. yeah so um yeah overall this was a pretty good show I think it's not the best um, E3 conference that we've seen so far. I'm going to wait to see which one to say which one's the best one, in my opinion, until we've seen all of them. But yeah, that's it. I thought this one. I thought this one was fine. Next, uh, Marco. I kind of like it. Uh, I'm not too sold on the Guardians because of the Marvel controversy. The current controversy. Mm -hmm. So I'll need to see when the game releases. Um, I'm not really that fond of the Platinum game one. It's it looks generic. Doesn't doesn't speak much to me. Yeah. I did actually enjoy what what I saw of the the last one of the Final the Fantasy one reimagining. Yeah. It's that called. Interesting. I, I I don't remember the first name, but it's but the subtitle is Final Fantasy Origin. So you can it's like that. Strangers in Paradise or something. The article oh, yeah. still has to pop up, but I do I do agree. This is one of the most as someone who normally take you know is tolerant towards Square Enix weird titles. This is definitely one of the most out there, even for me. <laughs> right um, about Stranger Things. Oh, Stranger Things. <laughs> <He's> strange. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong franchise, my buddy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, about about Life is Strange. Um, well, I'm probably not going to play the, the the remasters because uh, I still have the original on PC. I don't really have much reason to buy the the other ones. Same. Um, unless they release it eventually on the Switch, I might double dip maybe. Hmm. Um, but the newer game, I not really. I'm not really liking what I see. I, it's first of all, I don't have much confidence because of the second game. The second game is horrible. I hated it. Um, and um, which is I, weird, which is weird, Marco, because unlike before the storm, uh, Life is Strange Two was made by Don't Not Entertainment, the same team that made the first game. So... Exactly. That's why when you said that this one is is not made by Don't Not, I'm like, I don't know if that's better or worse because it's well, like. Well, yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, no, I, I, I didn't particularly care for Before the Storm either. But yeah, go, go ahead. It's like Before the Storm. It's horrible for me. Uh, sure. The second game, no, I hated. I it's hated a... most of the game. Mm -hmm. I did not like it. Um, sure. And this one, I, I have a problem with. It's gonna have the same problem of 
the second game when it comes to the gimmick. Because um the thing that I the one of the things that I actually like about the first game was how the how they used the how the mechanic of the game was intrinsic to the gameplay, kind of. And this one seems like it's kind of like that. But I think it's just doing something that other games can do. It's like, oh, you can see people's emotions when it's like... It seems like a cop-out for not animating. Because other games do the same thing by just changing the animations in the in the characters, right? And you can kind of get an, an idea what the other characters are feeling. You don't need a purple aura around them. So it's it kind of feels... I don't know, superfluous, let's say it like this. So I don't know, I'll have to, to see the actual game, but I'm not too confident in it. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy about Final Fantasy getting decent re-releases, I hope. Decent re-releases of the original game. Yes. Um, however, I'm kind of disappointed of no console version, but I guess we'll just have to wait on those. Alas. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, what else? Is that anything else? Not uh, I don't think else so. that I can recall. That's the thing. This one was pretty short. I'm, I want to say it. It. I was. Like, I actually think it's a good point on the presentation that we didn't. We didn't uh, notice the time passing. It was like, I agree. Yeah. It, basically, that means that yeah, you were enjoying what you were watching in uh, unlike other conferences. <laughs> so I would say that. Uh, so, I'm, so I'm guessing the highlight for you. They're trying to be that. subtle. <laughs> So I'm guessing for you the highlight was Final Fantasy Origin. I mean, I'm not gonna play it because I don't have a PS4 or a PS5, so I'm not gonna play it. But well, actually, from what we've seen, didn't they say it was cross gen too? Actually, I think it's on other. Oh, uh, I haven't checked uh, again. It's it's yeah, but yeah, it seems to be PS5 uh, and PC multiplied at the very least. Oh, there you go. Then PC. It is on, it's on PC. Yeah, it's, if it's on PC, I might try it then. Um, the rest is like yeah, I wasn't expecting anything else i because i think it's too soon to show final fantasy 16 right um and i don't think they have anything else they can show yeah at least i'm happy that they're kind of stopping with the final fantasy 7 push because it was like three or four great games announced in the same spam it's insane for me at least like i like final fantasy 7 but not that much <laughs> But Marco, I didn't get my Final Fantasy XIV Trilogy collection. Where is it? I actually would mind to have that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually would mind. Imagine, uh, imagine Land Returns running at a decent frame rate. Also, One Pedro, don't act dream. like you wouldn't buy that. No, I wouldn't, naturally. I already have oh, the okay. games anyway. <laughs> imagine, Tio, imagine buying Lightning Returns... HD edition just so you can get that stable frame rate. That'll make the uh, gameplay experience I saw all the, the dog more worth good. it. Lightning Returns uh, PS5 edition. Now with an improved doggo. And oh, now with an To Pedro, we're asking for a master, not miracles. But uh, continue. <laughs> are, are, are you, are you sad, done, the uh, sad thing <laughs> about that is that I would probably buy the trilogy and just play the first game. Probably. <laughs> That's the other one. <laughs> So uh, yeah. All uh, right, you you done, Marco? Yeah, I'm done. It's it's for me. It's probably the best so far. Next. All right, Shiroi. That was fine. I mean, it's nice to have Final Fantasies one through six. Might pick that up. The last game looked cool. Um, got to see a lot of um Guardians. Uh, gameplay wise, that's nice. Um. I don't think I have much else to say about anything specific. It was a pretty good conference. You know, like was said before, they didn't spend too little or too much time on any particular thing. And yeah, I think it was as long as it needed to be and that's it. It, it was fine. Like I found the, so far I found the Microsoft and Bethesda one more interesting, but this, this wasn't bad. I'm done. Pedro. Yeah. Um, no, it was fine, definitely. But I, I will agree with Joe that yeah, it's not. It wasn't like the big, uh, the big banger that the 2019 uh, event was. But it's still fine for what it was. It, it showed stuff and um, and it showed it fine enough with actual gameplay. 
So there's that. Yes, Jova? I was going to say, I think what could have helped was at the very least another look at Final Fantasy 16 since yeah, that was, was obviously the big thing they were hyping. But yeah, yeah no I, don't feel, I get the feeling uh, since Forspoken and Final Fantasy 16 are uh, going to be timed PS5 exclusives, I'm guessing probably they're saving that for whenever Sony has a state of play next, mm-hmm. most likely. Um, so that's so they're gonna save that for that's what I'm thinking so far. That being said, uh, the the highlight was definitely Strangers in Paradise Final Fan- Was it Strange? Whatever. The, Final <laughs> Fantasy- <laughs> the official title, no, I got it. The official title is actually Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Like, again, you were close. It's, it's not yeah, a great, it's, 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 it's a very weird t- Okay, it just I will be say this. Uh, at the title. very least, we're not, at the very least, they're not butchering Latin this time around, I guess. <laughs> Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is definitely the highlight because <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I actually really like. The Neo games, um, they're basically really good Souls-like games uh, based on some Japanese culture. They're really good, um, and yes, uh, having a, a having a Souls-like uh, I don't know if this is going to be Souls-like or not, but uh, but we haven't seen enough to properly determine if it's going to be exactly like the Neo games. But we'll have to wait and see. But I do enjoy the idea of having a game made by that team inspired by the first Final Fantasy. It's an interesting idea. Um, and I do like the fact that Nojima uh, is writing it, uh, and we even have um, uh, Nomura designing the characters. So yeah, it, it really is. Um, it, it really is an interesting idea, and I'm looking forward to that at least. And it's and the and the PS and, gonna, and they said that the end of the trailer is going to be a PS5 demo available soon. So I'll definitely check that out. Um, nice. Yeah, uh, it's fine. It, it's 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 a perfectly fine. The only thing that was kind of disappointing was Babylon's Fall because considering it's a Platinum Games game, I was expecting something with a lot more personality to it. It's like I said, it just looks like your typical team-based game and not even the visual really looks that unique. Like, not like it's terrible but just that it doesn't feel like the usual wow factor you get out of a Platinum Games game. Yeah, I was um, disappointed too. Yeah, It's uh, it's something that... um, Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it's something that it, that it's uh, weird. Like uh, I guess we'll wait and see more to see. Maybe maybe the, maybe this trailer didn't do a good enough job showing it off. We'll see. The point maybe. is, yeah, it's it's a, it, it, it was a good conference. It did exactly what it was set it out to do. And like it, it could have, it, yeah, it would have been nice to get some sixteen and four spoken stuff in here. Uh, to really draw, like a sixteen in particular would have been a great way to end the conference. But I guess we're gonna have to wait a bit more for to check that out again. So that's it. All right, I'm done. All right, I'll yeah. conclude. Yes, sir. I was just about to say one thing on my mm-hmm. on my part, and that is I'm disappointed with the lack of Dragon Quest. That's it. <laughs> well, to, to be fair, the, we had we had already a plenty enough, uh, you know, exclusive uh, look at it in recent times. Uh, I well, guess there was no real need for it. Honestly, Red Halsey does have a point though. Like they showed. I think they showed some Dragon Quest... Yeah, I mean, they, they technically had a Dragon Quest stream, sure, but why not do a recap of that for the Square Enix? Honestly, I've never had this event what had just happened in the Microsoft Conference with Far Cry 6. So... But anyway, let me let me go on. Go, you can go, yeah. This was fine, but like the other said, this was not, like, super great. And like I said, I had set my expectation a bit too high for this one, so inevitably it did not reach it. Um, but I don't think still is actually that bad. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy game looks fine for the most part. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'll actually did get it. Gotta be honest, in terms of, you know, telling an actual story, character utilized and everything, I'm kind of more interested in, Marvel, in the Marvel's Avengers game. But it doesn't seem that bad. I, just, I guess I'll just wait and see how it pans out. Um, the... The new intro for Legend of Mana Remastered is actually pretty nice. Oh boy, I wonder if I do wonder if we will still get a new version of the original F and B intro, considering, like I mentioned in our commentary, it looks very garbage and even use fucking comic sense as a font. <laughs> Jesus. Um very pixelated. Brace too. the font. Too. No, no, no. I will strangle <laughs> it. Uh, but uh, um then what was next? Right. The 
the Babylon Spawn footage, it's fine. It seems to be aiming more for co-op than anything, uh, but I would wonder if it's going to be a case where you can play single player and the other partner will be uh, AI controlled, similar to stuff like, say, your pawns in Dragon's Dogma. Um, I still want to see where it goes. I do believe it took a, it's taking a bit too long to be released, but that depends entirely on Platinum, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. The Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster is the thing that I'm looking forward the most at the moment, because I do legitimately wonder, again, which version will be used, how the HUD will be you know, interfaced, because, again, a lot of people do not really like the fan event, the mobile interface, usually gets transplanted for their their, their respective Steam ports one to one. It's not a matter of the sprite difference. So we'll have to see this how is this coming to Steam and Mobile does also seem to suggest that this could potentially be replacing, you know, the current versions of five. I get the idea, Jova. I am actually speculating if this is one just one single package instead of selling all of them separately. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind either because considering again these games are relatively old, so selling all of them for like say sixty bucks over like six games. So again, ten for each. It is the price you're getting content for the price that you spend technically. You know. Um, but I do wonder. There's also the question if they're actually adding, uh, you know, some kind of boosters like we did for the other releases. Probably we'll see how that goes. Um, Regardless, uh, if if I actually use this to record Final Fantasy II, I will still play it the way it's intended, at least for the version that it's used. But again, it's all speculation for the future. If it still doesn't have that kind of extra content that I mentioned before, I will just use the PSP version like I was planning to do in the first place. But regardless, I'll still wait to see when this is released to move forward on that front. Um, the Wakanda footage from Marvel Avengers. I'm Pretty much the same that I said for the Oka expansion, just applied for the context of Wakanda. Claw seems to be an interesting villain to tackle. We'll see how that goes. Um, and the, the challenge sense seems to be on point. But again, all in due time, we'll see. Uh, which leads to Strangers of Paradise. It does, again, as a premise, I totally can understand why Square wants to experiment with this. Like I mentioned, Square seems to be in a position where they want to do more experimentations with all their IPs, you know, taking risks and everything, and this is clearly one such occasion. Hey, Teo, um, hey, remember, that it's just like with the first Kingdom Hearts. It's another wild, wacky idea by no more in Nojima, it seems. <laughs> um, I will say this. Uh, the two things that uh, that did not really gel on me with this one, one, the fact that, again, you seem to only have three party members instead of four, it's a, it's a decision taken from Final Fantasy VII onward with only a couple of occasions where they actually turn to four, and i really not exactly a big fan of it. The entire prophecy about the, the Warriors of Light, it's about that. Unless it's like an integrated story reason, like say the fourth is actually the classic world of light coming to rescue you in the last hour or some shit like that you know mm -hmm. maybe there is something like that the aesthetic seems to be fine but i'm not the super fan of the the main character's costumes i wonder if similar to neo there is some degree of customization because the base costumes of the main characters don't seem to gel that much. The thing that I noticed the most is the pink hair of the Dragoon. His armor is fine, but they're, much like with 15, there seems to be a more prevalence on black, which for the darker environment does not you know, reflect that much on what is going on. But again, we'll have to see how it turns out. The demo is releasing soon. We'll see how that, uh, that goes. Um, Although apparently I noticed the people are already memeing to death the fact that in the trailer they repeat so much, the main, the main character repeats so much that he's seeking for chaos. So I get the idea it's already taking off from that front. Sure. Um, still, as a whole... I've noticed that too. As a whole, this was fine. Could have been better. And there's still stuff that I would, might have been interested in to, you know, to see more, like, uh, you know, the, the Luminous Engine project or Final 16. But I'm perfectly fine with what they did. Again, I'm confident Square is going to have another, at least another one of these, if not two, before the end of the year. We'll see more in that case. Also, I forgot about Life is Strange. Yeah, it looks fine. There's still the old hipster culture stick, but it's just not for me. But the, this one seems to be still taking care of the core things of the franchise, you know, the supernatural gimmick the troubled lives of the, the inhabitants of a place and uh, your choices which <laughs> might actually have repercussions or not we shall see um the remaster i have to agree with pedro doesn't seem to be 
too much different. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, they uh, did. They yeah. did mention. They did mention. We were, I think remember they did mention in the first releases that what we're tweaking is also the way puzzles do work. So we we haven't actually seen how that is transplanted. But yes, Pedro. Do, do you mind? Let me just make a small addendum because I actually forgot to talk about it. Life is strange. Free looks looks fine, but at the same time, I'm going to, uh, you know. Wait because it's optimistic, because because uh, Deck Nine hasn't exactly proven themselves yet. So, for all we know, uh, this could be their breakout game or not. Uh, but again, uh, we'll have to see. Well, well, oh, sure. Uh, again, uh, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. um, as for the remaster collection, yeah, I was originally wondering if I was going to have to wait before I record Life is Strange uh, for these remasters. However, now that I'm seeing what they did with these remasters, I'm not entirely sure I plan to even get this collection, even for recording purposes. Because as, uh, aside from a 60 FPS, I'm not always, I mean, these games don't really need the 60 FPS at all. They so definitely feel... improved the detail and looks of things the overall. Beats. And like I said, we have to see if the puzzle structure is changed at all or not. We'll to, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But for now, I'm not really seeing a good enough improvement to justify me double dipping. That's all. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, it, it's like I said, I, for me, I think it's one of those games that it doesn't really need that. It just needed something like you'd be able to play it in 4K maybe, and that's it. The, the, game, is, the game looks fine. But anyway, I'm pretty much done myself. Again, this was fine, could have been better, but also could have been definitely worse. Um, and I'm still been impre uh, relatively impressed from what they've shown. So that's pretty much it for Square Enix. See you for the next conference. Yeah, see ya. See ya. Bye.